Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Before I jump in, I just wanted to say that I am obsessed with my new top. I got it at Target, and I mentioned it in my fall essentials haul video. Um, it was the last video I posted, so I'll link that down below if you want to check it out. But I'm super excited for today's video. I haven't talked about this a lot on my channel, but after having been in my co-op, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like a rotation internship where you co-op for one semester, go back to school, co-op another semester, and then go back to school. And it rotates, usually for three rotations, but some companies and some schools will let you do more if that works with your schedule. So I haven't really talked about this. I don't want to mention the company I work for. Um, I'm sure if you know me personally, you know who and where I work for. But I work um, in an engineering group at an industrial environment, and I was fortunate enough to receive this position. I got a job offer about a year ago, and then I worked spring of 2018 semester um, at my co-op. So today I just wanted to share my tips and tricks and what to expect if you have landed an interview for an engineering co-op or internship. So for the first part of this video, I'll go over what to expect during your interview. First of all, congratulations if you're watching this and you have an interview or some chance at getting a job, congrats. I hope that's why you're watching. So the first main thing you should expect during your interview is behavioral type questions. They know that you are still in school and that you're still learning a lot of the technical knowledge um, and you'll never know everything and they know that. They just want to make sure that you're going to be somebody who's easy to work with, easy to get along with, and will work hard to make sure that you get stuff done. So be prepared for all those behavioral type questions. There are lots of resources online and I'm sure your school has resources too. Again, what they're really looking for is to make sure that you have a strong work ethic. Even if your GPA looks really good on paper and you even are involved in a lot in school, if you can't talk about the experiences that make you a hard worker and a good leader, they're not going to be interested. And because they don't expect you to know everything, there's not going to be many technical questions. I actually did have one sort of technical related question. I can't remember the exact wording. If you can hear weird noises, my dog is sitting here and he's licking his paws and stuff. There's three questions I was asked in almost all of my co-op interviews. And when I say all of, at my school, the way it works is if you sign up to be a part of the co-op interview process, you're guaranteed an interview with somebody, some company. And there are these half hour long segments and I got three interviews. And I received these questions in almost every single interview and one of my follow-up interviews. The first one was asking about your favorite class and your least favorite class so far and why. You know, I think everybody could probably figure out how to answer this question and I would encourage you to answer it honestly and give reasons why you love what you love and why a class disappointed you. Obviously don't go bagging on, the professor gave me too much work, it was too much work to handle. They don't want to hear that. They want to hear that, you know, maybe you didn't like the lack of interactiveness between you and the professor or you and your classmates, something along those lines, kind of like the whole strengths and weaknesses question, try and play it up to make yourself look better and not make a class look bad. The next question you will probably hear is, why do you want to work for us or why should we hire you? And I usually experience those two questions either together or back to back. And the way to prepare for it is to really research the company, know your strengths and weaknesses and how they kind of intertwine. If a company really preaches about safety, talk about aspects in your life, previous jobs you've held, clubs you're involved in that relate to those attributes they look for in a candidate. That leads me to the second part of the video, which is how to prepare for these interviews. Again, research is super important. Know the basic company values. They'll usually have these listed on their front homepage. If you visit a website, they'll have like seven values listed, safety, responsibility, honesty, and I would have a scenario where you exemplify one of those characteristics kind of in your head, ready, if they ask you about one of those traits or again, the why should we hire you question. My next advice for preparing for your interview is to use the resources at your school, whether it be the career center or if you have a co-op and internship office, they'll have tons of opportunities for mock interviews and resources online. 
and maybe even connections with the company to get you in touch with the right people to prepare. So make sure to use all of the resources at your school to help you get best prepared. And this is kind of another question to expect. Tell me a little bit about yourself. And the easiest way to answer this question is to have a 30 second to a minute long elevator speech prepared. Basically, if you're on an elevator ride and someone's gonna offer you a job, what do you wanna quickly tell them about yourself, um, all the attributes you have, what you're involved in that would make you uh, look like a hireable candidate. And I would say rehearse this a lot. Coming off strong is a really good way to make a good impression. And um, during my preparation for my interviews, all of the career counselors I talked to encouraged us to have our elevator speech ready. Next, remember STAR when you're answering questions. And if you've ever had an interview before or already seeked any kind of advice from your school, then you're probably familiar with this term. STAR stands for situation, task, action, and result. And basically, when you're answering a question that an interviewer asks you, you wanna make sure you hit those four points. You have to state the situation so that they know what picture they should be thinking about in their head. Then you have to describe the task. What was the challenge? What was the problem you were asked to solve or deal with? And then action. What action did you take to solve that problem? Whether it was a more behavioral one or whether it was an actual technical work or school problem. It's really important that you also state the result. According to the many resources that have talked to me about interview tips, this is one people usually forget. So the result is really important because they're gonna wanna see how your actions affected the situation at hand. Was it a failure? Was it a success? And even if it's a failure, it's okay to mention that and mention how next time you would make a different decision because it shows that you're learning from your mistakes. So I hope this helped you feel a little bit more confident if you have an upcoming interview for a co-op or internship engineering related. I had no idea what to expect and luckily my career center and co-op office at school were really helpful, but having a video kind of explaining what to expect would have been really nice. So if you have an interview coming up or you have experience with a co-op interview, please leave a comment down below. I'm sure other people would love to hear about your experience. And if you have any other questions about co-op or interning or engineering in college in general, please feel free to leave a video request down below. I would love to talk about this subject more because I love sharing it. My experience has been really awesome so far. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.